Hi everyone, welcome back to my craft room. If you're new to my craft room, then welcome. Today I want to work on a decoupage project here using these Dollar Tree items. I got this um, hand soap dispenser here and I also picked up this soap dish. I already painted this one because I'm going to paint them a different color white because as you can see they're really not white. I painted this with the white Adorada chalk paint and you really can see the difference. So I mean they're white but they're just I don't know, like a creamy white, I guess. And for the napkin I'm using, the background is very white, so um, it wouldn't look quite right using that. So I did get put a, two coats of chalk paint on the soap dish already to get a head start. And I already have one of these other ones painted. I'm just going to show you real quick how I painted it. And then I'm using this napkin here. Now, I've had this a long time, so I don't know where to tell you that I got this from, but you can find all kinds of napkins out and about like it Tuesday morning, sometimes Dollar Tree. Um, if you just want to buy a couple napkins, you can go on Etsy. A lot of people sell them just like two or three, you know, just for decoupage reasons. Um, if you don't want to, you know, go on Amazon and buy a whole pack of napkins just to make a little project. But sometimes it's good because then you can just use them for Christmas too if you want to. But anyway, I've had this one for quite a while. I have so many napkins that I've had forever. Um, so, but you know, you can find them pretty much anywhere. So the first thing I want to do is take your little thing off, your little pump thing, put that aside, and then I'm going to cover up the little threads on here. And I'm going to use some floral tape. And I like using that mainly because it just bends so nice and easy. And you can get it around here um, really simple. So I'm just going to put a couple... Let me get a hold of that here. Rows of that around here. And then I'm just going to tuck it up over the top just to, you know, so I don't get it on the thread. So, when, you know, when I go to screw it back on, it won't be messed up. So I just used a sponge brush. You can get these at Dollar Tree, too. Um, and I used um, this white Adirondack color. This is the uh, Folk Art Home Decor chalk paint. I like using chalk paint on glass or ceramic like this because it just sticks so much better than acrylics. Sometimes acrylics hard, especially on like a ceramic thing or porcelain, whatever you want to call these things. Um, because sometimes you try to get your second coat on, it pulls off the first coat. But chalk paint sticks really, really well. So that's what I used. And all I did, now if I can get the lid off, is... I didn't even put this stuff in a bowl or anything. I just dipped it right in here. And you can do these real quick. You could just smear these on like this. And what I like to do is, after I, you know, get a good coat of it on here, I like to just pat it like this. And then it gives it just a little bit of texture. Um, so when you decoupage your images, it cover, you know, it kind of hides all your little edges and things. And it just, but it's just that easy. And you just smear it on and then just give it a few good taps. So you don't see any of the, you know, like if you were using brush strokes or something, you wouldn't see any of that. Let me just give it these little dots. And it has quite a bit of texture when it's wet, but after it dries, I mean, I'll show you the one that's dry here. Um, it's really not much at all, but it's just a really nice, pretty white now, and it'll show up so much better. And then you can see the difference in the white just from this top piece to the other part of it. So now it's a nice bright white. I gave them both two coats. I only painted the top of this one. I really didn't think it was necessary to do the whole thing. Um, and I am going to go around the edge of this with a green. Now for that I'm going to use this Apple Barrel acrylic and it's going to go on top of the chalk paint. So I think it'll be fine and it's all going to get sealed in with some um, Mod Podge. And then when I'm all done with this one, because this one's going to be in the bathroom, you know, around water and stuff, I am going to give this a good coat of this uh, dishwasher safe Mod Podge. Um, I've never actually made anything and put it in the dishwasher after I use this, so I can't guarantee how wonderful this is. But I know as far as like using things like this in the bathroom, um, it's worked great because I've made a lot of these in the past. The last Christmas one I did, I did with all stickers, and I did that one a couple years ago. And I used that for a couple years, but you know, after a while, the stickers, they start to get funny. So if you don't have a pretty napkin, you can always, you know, find some nice uh, stickers and things. Probably like a Dollar Tree. But let me show you quick how I cut out my images. I already have a bunch of those cut out to save a little bit of time. But you're going to need something smooth. I have this glass mat here that I got at, um, oh, that light's going to be awful in there. Well, I'm just going to do this quick. Let me throw a napkin over that where that light's beaming. There we go. So it doesn't glow. Whoops. Where'd it? 
There it is. <laughs> I don't want the glare in your face. But I cut out most of these already. I think I have enough. I may have to cut out a few more. But all you're going to do for this is, I use one of these water pens from, you can get these at Dollar Tree, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, whatever. And it, the little handle fills up with water. And then these are watercolor pens, actually. I got a bunch from Amazon, too. But if you don't have one of these, you can just use a regular paintbrush, dip it in some water, and do the same thing. But this is how I cut out my images. I take the water, and I go around the edge of the image. This way it makes a nice, like, jagged edge instead of cutting them out. And then you decoupage it, and you can actually see the straight edge when you cut it with scissors. But I just wet it like that, and then I take one of these little brushes. I put my finger over the image so you can't see it and then just pull away the excess napkin, like so. Some people are pretty good at ripping them out too. I don't have any luck doing that. I usually end up tearing my napkin. But after they're all ripped out, it'll look something like this, and it has all these, you know, funky little edges. Some of them I pull off if they're hanging too much, but, but they blend in really, really good with the background, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we go along here, if you haven't seen me do this before. But I figured this is a nice relaxing thing for me to do here today while I'm trying to get rid of this virus. Um, the only thing that's really annoying me anymore is my ear is still plugged up and I'm stuffy. But that's pretty much it. My eyes are very dry. But, you know, some drops here and there and this will go away eventually. Alright, so let's start here with this little soap dish. Now you don't have to use this as a soap dish. You could use it like a little trinket tray. Um, so if you want to put your soap dispenser and then this little tray in the bathroom with maybe some maybe fancy soaps or just some little lotions you could set on there whatever um, you can use this for whatever you want so I'm gonna put this little guy on here I cut out a bunch of different things I have this little snowman ornament I think I want to put here I kinda like to lay them out first before I do this and then there's this cute little ornament guy and I think I'm gonna put him on there too try to space them out kind of let me move you over a little bit on there whoops get back here there we go I know you're not gonna want to stay but that's okay and then I cut out you know I love these little images on these napkins because there's so many different things you can add to this you know little pieces of this and that instead of it's just one big image and then I think I'm gonna add a candy cane to this and I think that's all I'm gonna put in here so let me start. Let me get some Mod Podge here. I don't have that ready. All right. So you're going to need the Mod Podge. And this is just Mod Podge from Dollar Tree. This is the gloss. It really doesn't matter because if you're going to use the um, dishwasher safe to go over it, I don't like to decoupage with the dishwasher safe because sometimes it makes my images, the color will run and stuff. So I, I don't really care to use it. But I will cover it when it's all dried grab a brush here and this is just one of the brushes from Dollar Tree whatever you have and well some people like to put Mod Podge down first but this napkin now of course you got to take the other layers off the napkin I don't think I mentioned that this was actually a three ply napkin and I peeled the other two layers off so you want to get down to the single oh, I'm blowing my things all over the single layer of the napkin and then the Mod Podge will go right through it easy I mean this is like the one of the easiest things you can make and that's pretty much it he's on there already just that simple you just kind of smooth it out a little bit get any wrinkles out but there you go he's all ready to go and I got a hair in it already I have so many different hairs in this house between my cats and my dogs all right now this little guy I think I'm gonna put over here and I'm probably gonna have to stop this video like a hundred times because I'm gonna have to cough my throat gets so dry. I have a cough drop in my mouth, but my throat is just really, really dry. All right, that was cough number two I had to pause for. All right, so let's get this little guy on here. It's so hot today. I just could not believe when I got up this morning. It was 77 degrees outside. It's November for crying out loud. The last last week we were lucky if it got up to like 60 degrees and now this week it's like it's right now it's 80 degrees which is absolutely crazy all right now I'm gonna add this little pine pick here whatever you want to call it I'm gonna put that up there all 
and there's that. All right, I think I'm going to add this candy cane in here. Let's put this little guy right down here. And I think that will be it for this little soap dish. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure I get some Mod Podge on the rest of this here that doesn't have any, so it's shiny like the rest of it. Now the edges I'm not going to worry about right now because I'm still going to go over that with some um, paint. Oh dear. There we go. I just moved his little arm. There. Alright, so that is how this is going to look. I need to smooth it out just a little bit more. But I thought this would just be a fun thing, you know, fun. This would be nice for like a kid's bathroom or something. But I like these little cutesy things too. Alright, so we're going to set that aside to dry. And now on here, we've got four sides to do. Um, I'm just going to do two sides here on camera because I'm going to pretty much do the same thing all the way around. But we're going to add an ornament here. Um, and he's the little snowman ornament. And he's so cute. All right. And it's so much easier to work with these little pieces because you can smooth these out so quick and easy. There's like nothing to it. I just like to go over it a couple more times just to make sure it all went through good. But look how easy that was to get that little guy on there. So simple. So let's see. I have a tall one for the other side too. I don't know where that is right now because I just blew everything all over the place. Or, yeah, I must have another one somewhere. I don't know where he went. But, okay. So on the other side, I think I'll use this cupcake. Um, that'll be cute. We'll put that there. And then I can add some candy canes on this side along with this little cupcake. That'll be cute. And we're just going to set that down and just cover it with our Mod Podge. Easy peasy. And there you go. It's on there. And I don't know if, yeah, I want candy cane with the cupcake. Let's put that up here. And it's stuck to my finger. There we go. <laughs> All right, there's our little candy cane. And that was a really little piece, so that was pretty easy to get on. All right, so that'll be those two sides. And I'm going to add, I have some of these really teeny weeny, like, gold, I don't even know if you can see those, little gold snowflakes that were in this uh, napkin. So I think I'm going to stick one of those on here. And you can use different napkins. I mean, you can use like a snowflake from one napkin and an ornament or something, you know, or poinsettias or whatever from another napkin. You don't even have to use the same napkin. There's just so many nice ways to do this. All right, so there's our little snowflake on there. And I just stuck my finger on my cupcake. There we go. Note to self, that side is wet. <laughs> All right, that's fine. It's fine. I don't know if I want this here. No, I think I'm just going to add this little teeny weeny set of three berries that I cut out. And I'm just going to add that up here too. Just to fill in some space. And that's that for that side. That's all I'm going to put on that side because we're still going to paint around the edges. Um, and I'm also going to go around with, I was going to use gold, but I think I'm going to use the silver. And this is the liquid pearls. This is the Tim Holtz liquid pearls. And you can find this in with, you know, all the stamping stuff at Michael's and things. You can usually find the liquid pearls. And these make nice little, like, they'll, they look just like liquid pearl. Well, yeah, okay. <laughs> They look like little silver pearls when they dry. But they're, you know, they have the whole raised effect and everything. So those are fun to work with too on something like this. But I think that's all I'm going to put on that side. I think I want him to be my front. All right, so I'm going to do the other two sides here and then we'll come back after this dries and put on the green um, border. All right, these are dry. Now for on this one here, I went ahead and I painted 
around the edge here so it could get dry. I just took a little bit of this Kelly Green in a little bowl here and one of these little sponge brushes and I just went around the edge. I need to touch up a few spots here. I was going to do that on here but I've decided I'm going to just use some of these gem stickers because I think it's just going to look too too sloppy. Um, but I think this looks cute on this tray. And then I added some of those little dots. And I'll add some of those onto this one over here to show you how I did them. But I think that looks cute. And that'll look adorable. And I just need to put one more coat of the Mod Podge dishwasher safe over top of all of this. And then it's all done. But that's pretty much how that little guy is going to look. I think he'll look cute sitting on a vanity or a dresser or wherever you want to just set him. Just want to just toss your keys in there or whatever. Or some jewelry. Whatever you want to use that for. I think it would look cute with like a little, maybe even a little candle in the center up would be nice. But I was going to do this, but I don't think I would be able to get this nice and neat. And I think it would look real sloppy. So this probably isn't the most practical thing, practical thing to do is to put these stickers on here. But I think that looks so cute. I'm still going to put some more down here on the bottom. Um, I need six more to put across the bottom here. And I did actually glue the end too because sometimes they want to pop up on you. But... Um, I think this looks cute and I just there's like three little lines you can see in these uh, ridges here and I just put it over the center one um, so I think that'll look cute so let's see is that gonna fit in there nice there we go I didn't even didn't even try on that one. Oh, I can't wait to get rid of this stuffiness and my head my eyes tearing and stuff here it's just so annoying when you want to do things and I'm so bored so I wanted to come in here and do some kind of crafting um, just because I'm tired of sitting around waiting for this to go away. But I figured do something simple here today, not too complicated. I'll pick that glue off of there when it dries. All right, let's get these on here even. There we go. Chew back down there. And I just want to put a little glue under the end of this one. Or did I get... No, that one's not stuck. Sometimes... <laughs> these glue webs sometimes the end ones just want to lift up and then the whole thing will start lifting up so usually if you just put a little bit of hot glue just on that very first one then you really don't have to worry about it so I think that'll look adorable so then all I got to do on this I'm gonna put some more of those little dots up there but then you just screw your little thing back in here and then you can you know twirl this around whichever side you want to be the front so I figured that'll look cute um, you could go all the way around if you wanted to, but I figure this is going to be sitting on the corner of my sink, kind of like on an angle, just like this, that you're not even going to see those, so I'm not going to bother, but you could absolutely um, gem them up all the way around. And these are just the green, um, these are actually old ones, the older package. I think now they're in the Crafter Square packaging, but these were the Jot uh, gem stickers from Dollar Tree. And they have red, green, clear, they have all kinds of pretty ones. Um, so for this stuff here, I don't know what I want to do with this on here. Maybe I'll just decorate up here a little bit on the top around the edge to give it something. Um, yeah, you just make little dots with these. You just give it a little squeeze. And then maybe I'll go in between them. And it makes these little raised like pearl dots. It's just that simple. And then I think I'm going to put one like up a little bit higher just to dress up this top piece a little bit in between the other ones and you could go up even another row if you wanted to but I think that'll be enough around the top I'm gonna to go all the way around on this top piece so it just kinda of all looks even but these aren't like a perfect square they're kinda of rounded so that's why I didn't really want to attempt to do the edges with that sponge brush because I don't think it would come out looking you know really nice so we're gonna leave the edges be but you can paint these any color you want. You can do the dots or not the dots. I mean, the sky's the limit. And it's just such an easy thing to do. And it's such a pretty thing. Just, you know, what's it cost? $1.25. And then whatever you, you know, have around the house to add to it. I don't usually count the other stuff because I have so much of this stuff in my stash. But, I mean, it'll be a little more if you have to go out and buy all the different things. But, yeah, that is all I'm going to do this I think that looks adorbs. So that is fine for our little soap dispenser. And then you can find some nice, I want to try to find a nice apple-y smelling, you know, like an apple, pine, apple, whatever, 
hand soap to put in here. I don't have any right now. I'm going to have to get some when I get out to the store. But yeah, but that is it. That's all I'm going to do to these little guys. I'll clean this mess up and set these guys up so they don't look like they're sitting in a pile of stuff. But um, yeah, all I need to do now, I have to still have to put another coat of the Mod Podge on there. But you know what that is. You just paint that on with a brush, let it dry, and then this should be good to go as far as if it gets wet or anything. Um, all your little decals and things should stay on there just fine. But that is my little project for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and maybe gave you a little idea of something you want to do with your little soap dispensers and stuff. But I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.